accept the message and put away Babylon and begin to follow Almighty God as he dictates or as he gives us guidance and instruction in his holy word aided by the Holy Spirit powered by the Holy Spirit this proclamation of the final warning will be most powerful and it will be most persuasive because it will be the power of the Holy Spirit. Don't you want to be a part of that? If you're alive, don't you want to be a part of that proclamation? I know I do. And so we continue to study and to be faithful and to share our faith because I don't know any other way to do it. Any questions? I can tell you, or I would remind you, that right after the next study, Thursday study, is about the time of trouble. That comes after the final warning, not before. And we're going to talk, about, we're, we're, we're right down now to the close of probation, just within the final moments of probation. So the next step is the time of trouble. I trust that this has been a blessing to you. I'm glad to have done it and even happier that you're present. And I, I, I hope that uh, we've given you some new information or, or given you some text that you can look at and study, study on your own. Certainly follow, use your concordances or your chain references when you come up to words in Revelation 18 that you, you don't understand. And remember that Revelation 18 is, is, is a repeat, the final warning is a repeat of the a part of the second angel's message in Revelation 14, verse 8, where it says, Babylon's fallen, it's collapsed. And it says, come on out of her so that you won't have to be you won't be one who receives the plagues because the plagues aren't pleasant and they won't hurt those who are with God it's those who are not that will be afflicted by them and it will cause them to hate those people who are with God well, I don't want to get ahead of myself but it leads to the time of trouble and we're going to look at that in more detail on Thursday God bless you. Have a good evening. Remember that if you have questions or comments that you'd like to make, please uh, drop us a line at inspiritednetwork.com. Good night. Let's pray. Father in heaven, I know that uh, we have provided your words from scripture and I know that for those who have not looked at them in this way before there are questions and I pray that you will send your Holy Spirit into each heart who's listening and lead and direct them into truth so that as they continue to study and they continue to follow through in what they've heard that they will receive the blessing of truth is my prayer in the name of Jesus Amen God bless you have a great evening see you on Thursday 9pm <laughs>